Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the introduction to hyperbola. Unlike the parabola and circle that you already discussed in your junior high school, this hyperbola is a new lesson to you, just like the ellipse. So it's a little bit uh, tricky or hard for some, and of course you need to uh, integrate your knowledge about the parabola. So let's have first a definition. A hyperbola. So let f sub 1 and f sub 2 be two, be two distinct points. So our f sub 1 and f sub 2 are our foci. The set of all points, let's say p, whose distances from the f sub 1 and f sub 2 differ by a certain constant is called the hyperbola. So let's say we have here our graph, the graph of a hyperbola. So this is our f sub 1 and f sub 2. And let's say p is the point. So a point is consists of the x coordinate and y coordinate, or the abscissa and the ordinate. So their distance may differ through a certain point. And we have here the point of the f sub 1 minus point of the f sub 2 is equal to, I'll get their absolute value, the positive value, is equal to 2a. Okay, so this is the graph of the hyperbola. You will also encounter the following terms. An asymptote is a line that, that a curve approaches at its head towards infinity. So in our graph, where is the asymptote here? It should be P here. Asymptote. Okay, there must be P here. So our asymptote, it is a line. So this line. So we have two asymptotes, the first line and the second line. So our hyperbola, if we're going to extend, it will draw closer and closer to our asymptote, but they will never meet, or they will never touch each other. So notice that we have two lines. So the slope of this line is a positive, and the other line, this slope is negative. So in our examples, you will understand that asymptote. We also have the transverse axis is the axis of hyperbola that passes through the two points. Transverse axis that passes through the two points. Two foci. The conjugate axis is the axis of a parabola hyperbola perpendicular to the transverse axis at the point equidistant from the focus. So notice that a conjugate axis is perpendicular to our transverse axis. So if our transverse axis is located here, so our conjugate axis is vertically. They are perpendicular. To better understand, let, let us now proceed to our first example in the next video. 